Hello and welcome back to the Van Revo server. Now it feels like it's been a while since I've been here so I've got a little bit of catching up to do. I've been a little bit busy in my real life recently so you know I haven't had as much time to do the recordings. But uh, in between episodes let's just get some of this and some of this and we can show you some of that. Now this wasn't here in the last episode. This is actually a sugarcane farm with a pumpkin and melon farm inside and it is producing like crazy. I actually um, recorded a time lapse with Ferdig, but Ferdig's been busy as well and you know, just various, thi various things going on in life, so I haven't actually got that at the moment. But um, if I get it later, I may put it in the middle of the episode. Now look at this, this is overproducing. It's filled up all of these chests and the produce has now got nowhere to go. Oh my goodness. Um, let's put some of this on and let's do a little bit of stacking up like that get some of the things and let's see what we've got pumpkins melons everything so yeah this thing is going really well <laughs> i'm really really liking it it looks like it's been picked through a couple of times by me already as well um, because i'm going to pick up some pumpkins as i go today um, because we're getting close to halloween i'm going to do a little bit of halloween decoration on the server and I want to use lots of pumpkins. But that's a bit of a side project for today. Today I've got a big build that I want to do, which is going to be a community iron farm. Um, right in spawn. You may or may not have seen the um, short video by Redstone Hacks where we actually took down the iron farm in a time lapse. In the, uh, not the iron farm, the iron titan, which was in the centre of spawn. God, look at all that melon. I need to do something about that. Do I have any more pumpkin over here? Yeah, we did a little time lapse together and uploaded that. Or he uploaded that. Oh, yeah, I've got lots. Um, more than enough there. More than enough. So, yeah, I'm going to build it on the site of the old Titan. Basically, um, the Titan just wasn't really working, so we, we kind of gave up on it. Um, so I'm going to pop over to spawn, do a little bit of resource gathering, and we'll see you over there. Okay, and we're back. Now, I've been off and gathered a lot of stuff, and I'm ready, and I need Dinnerbone's help to take me over to where I'm going. So, let's just run over there. Right, and here we are. Now, this is where the Titan was, and I've got some things in chests. Let's unload a little bit before it gets too dark. And let's see. A bit more redstone. Because I'm going to need a lot of redstone for this, if you hadn't already gathered. And I also need an ender chest. Let's see, is there one down here? Can't remember. Okay, um, let's leave Dinnerbone down here. Because I've got everything off you, that's fine. And let's have a little look downstairs, see if there's an ender chest down there, I can't remember. So this is basically what was underneath the Titan, where... Everything was going to get sorted out and items pushed through the portal, um, but that didn't happen. So I tidied it up, I gathered up all of the resources which were used to build the Titan and put them down here. And I sorted them out a little bit as well. Um, so those two chests are just a bit, bit of junk really, I don't know, odds and ends. Then lots and lots of other stuff. So let's have a look. I want to get myself an ender chest up there. I want to get all of this out of here, and yeah, I think that'll do for now. Might as well grab a bit more food. Let's do that. Now, I need something to go at the bottom of this build. Okay, let's take those and some of that, um, because that's going to go underneath. Yeah, okay, I think that's enough to get going with. So let's see, is there a bed there? Did I see a bed? No, I didn't. Let's hope somebody's sleeping. No, they're not. Oh, jeez. Okay. So <laughs> let's go find a bed and get rid of the night. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we're back, guys. Now it's time to start building this thing, and I'm going to build it right here, right in the middle. Now, if you don't recognise this, this is actually where we spawned in on the very first day. This is where we all spawned in and all that derpiness happened. And it didn't even seem that long ago, but look at everything that's changed. It's crazy. You can just see the drone over there. You can see the shopping area over there. That is absolutely booming. There's loads of shops popping up all over the place all the time. 
But right here is where I'm going to build my community iron farm. And anyone can come in here and use it, just take the iron that they want. It's not going to be terribly productive, um, but it is going to be extremely efficient. So I'm going to be building the 100% efficient iron farm, which is my design. And yeah, I thought that would be fun to do. I've been collecting the redstone for absolutely ages. So let's do a little bit of marking this out, because you're going to be able to get down below. And I think what we're going to do down there is turn that into a bit of a community storage area. So a bit of a general exchange and mark. So if people have got extra stone that they don't want, they can put it in some chests. Um, people can come down here and just pick up bits and bobs. Um, but, you know, that's sort of not sure yet at the moment still. So let's do it like this. And yeah, I think this is going to work out okay. So one, two, three, and four. I think I can do it like this. They'll probably go down by one each time. Hi. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I always forget that's going to hurt. I always forget that. Okay, so let's do a little bit more of this. I'm going to cover all this over, so that's not a problem. This is just for the down below lighting area. Okay, so that's that layer all done. So let's go and switch over to some other blocks and get rid of all of that. I don't need that anymore. Now, these ones, you might think this is going to clash with the red, and you'd be absolutely right, it would, but we're not going to see this. This is going to be underneath the farm, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so that's what it looks like from below. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. I'm going to take this tube out because it's no longer needed, and I'm going to tidy up this middle area as well. Um, and up top, when we get up there... <laughs> is um, I've just filled it in with the blue clay because you're probably not going to see this anywhere where it does poke out. I'm going to tidy it up with something else just to make it look a bit nicer. So let's go and get some of this redstone in hand. Now I'm going to use almost every single last piece of this. So <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a big lump of redstone. Now, where is the centre? Where do we think the centre is? I think if you're looking at it, it's going to be around about here. So if I just put in... Whoops, no, not like that. Let's get those off the offhand because that is going to annoy me when I'm building. So let's do it like that. And yeah, I think that, that way. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I can push these guys over a little bit. Two, two, three, four. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so that is stage one done, and this is slightly different to the design which I've got on my video for the 100% iron farm, 100% efficient iron farm, because I um, kind of found a little way to cheat it a little bit, so you can save a little bit of materials. 
Um, I say, I say, save. It kind of depends on your point of view of saving materials, um, because I can fill this up with sea lanterns now. So of the rest that I would have had filled in with redstone, I can use sea lanterns to do that, um, which is also kind of expensive. But thankfully, we have got an amazing sea lantern farm, <laughs> an amazing guardian farm, I should say. So with thanks to mind, I actually have all of the sea lanterns that I need. Um, he's away this weekend, so I haven't actually asked him for these, but I will pay him back in full, whatever he wants. I don't mind, I don't care, because I've got a lot of sea lanterns here. Have a look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's more than I remember. So, yep, yeah, the next stage for me is to cover all of this in sea lanterns and add three layers of sea lanterns above. And, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, we'll be back in a bit. Right, and we're back. Now, this is all of the sea lanterns in place. This is always so much bigger than I remember it. I heard an Enderman. <laughs> Where did he come in? Um, yeah, this is huge. I always forget how big this is. So, let's go up top. This is just one solid block of resources. So, yeah, next up is I need to get some ice on this level here, and I need to cover it in packed ice initially, just to cut out the light from here. And then I'm going to have some water streams. Look at all that lot down there. Huh? Let's see if I can hit one. A bit higher? Yeah! Anyway, so, <laughs> so I need some water streams to push the um, items that are going to come up through this to one end. So maybe what I need to do first is actually get these villagers in place, properly homed where they're going to be, and get some doors in place as well, just to make sure this is all working. So let's do that next. So I need to find the middle of this area here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the middle. So if I just put in a couple of blocks there that just remind me that this is the middle. What do I have? Can I use blue? I think I've got blue. I don't have any blue on me. Okay, so let's use those two. So that marks the middle. The villagers are going to stand right here because I'm going to have a skin on the outside of this. So, yeah, all that I need to do is really build up the skin on the outside and then just bring the villagers up close. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Baby zombie in there could have wrecked them. Okay, so I'm going to put a skin on one wall here and on the other wall on the other side. Get the villagers in place and then place my doors so that this is actually becomes a working iron farm. Okay, we'll be back in a moment. Right, so it's time to put in the doors and I've decided that this is the right height to put the doors at. So, yeah, I need to cover all of this in iron blocks as well, as and when I have them, because right now <laughs> I don't have any. I've completely run out of iron blocks. I used a lot of them to build this, and I know that even if I built, if, even if I tore all of this down, I'm not going to have enough to cover this. So, yeah, that's going to be something that I just have to pick off as I go. Um, but for now, let's just tidy that up. Let's take that away, because... That is not helping the look of it. So, let's get some doors on here. Do I have any doors about me? Not a single door. Let's just go and put some things in over here. Empty out some of the junk and rubbish that I certainly don't need anymore. Um, yeah, I don't think I need that. Okay, let's go grab some doors. Now, I know I've got some down here. and <laughs> Let's move Dinner Bone back to a safe place. Come on, you. Down we go. He's wandered off a couple of times already, and I've sort of pulled him back, pulled him back, pulled him back. Right. Now, I'm sure... Where am I going? Down here? Yeah, that's it. I'm sure that there are some doors down here from the Titan. And not that one. That one. Okay, so I only need 22 doors. 24 doors? Yeah, 24 doors, actually. So, yeah, let's get those and put them in place and actually make this into a working farm. 
It's going to be a bit messy at first until I actually sort out the gathering system so that the um, items get collected up and not just fly off in all sorts of directions. Could be quite amusing for the first few days because I'm not going to finish this today. This has taken a lot longer than I imagined it would. Um, so I'm going to sort of tidy this up, turn it into a working farm and then come back and finish off the top layer just to get all of the items collected down. So for those days in between it's going to be quite funny because um, there's just going to be iron fly, flying around the place. So let's get this and I just want six. Now which quadrant of the world are we in? We are in the negative ne ugh, negative negative. Fantastic. That is brilliant. That means that this iron farm is going to be centered perfectly without me having to worry about it. And I'm just going to put six on the outside. So yeah, if you're in the negative... Have I done this right? Oh no, don't tell me. I've put them off center. Oh no, what, a, what an idiot. Okay, I'm going to have to move those guys across a bit. Not because it's going to affect the, gar the actual farm working, but because it's going to annoy the heck out of me. Oh dear, okay. Let's go around the other side and put sort of six more door doors down on each side and just see how we're going. Because I'm pretty sure I've got at least one side exactly centred. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Right, that looks okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, that is exactly centered. So what did I do wrong? I mustn't have been paying attention. But for now, for all intents and purposes, that is a working iron farm. Now what you'll find is it'll spawn the golems right in the middle of this and you'll get the suffocation damage on the golems. But because of the design, the golems will spawn every single time there's an opportunity to. Now, some of the iron farms, they miss those opportunities. This one does not. I need to sort this out. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, that's all I've actually got time for today. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.